How to conduct yourself in court. Basic legal information presented by Community Legal Education Association. This is general information only, not specific advice. For legal advice on your specific situation, talk to a lawyer. Before you go to court, read your court documents to make sure of the place and time. Plan to arrive early enough so that you can find parking, go through security, find your proceeding on the court hearings list posted near the entrance, find the courtroom, find a nearby washroom, relax for a few minutes before meeting your lawyer or going into the courtroom. You will have to go through security when you arrive at the courthouse. You may be searched by sheriffs or police, and your bag may be x-rayed and searched. Do not bring anything with you that could be confiscated. This would include cameras. Cell phones with cameras are allowed, but you must not use them in court. Weapons and illegal drugs. You should wear the kind of clothing worn in an office or business setting. For men, a suit or pants and shirt, sweater or sport jacket. For women, a suit or pants, or skirt and blazer, blouse, or sweater. If you wear a hat, take it off at security. If you wear a hat in the courtroom, you will be asked by the court clerk to take it off. Don't wear athletic clothing like sweatpants, shorts, t-shirts, tank tops, sneakers, or flip-flops. Don't wear clothing that is very revealing, and don't wear clothing meant to show membership in a criminal organization. Courtroom etiquette. Do not chew gum in court. Do not bring food or drinks into a courtroom. Do not disturb proceedings by talking loudly or making noise. Do not use any electronic devices. Everyone who is physically able to must stand when the judge enters or leaves the courtroom. Wait for a break in the proceedings if you need to leave the courtroom. And don't wear strongly scented products like cologne and perfume. In the Court of Queen's Bench, the judge is addressed as my lord or my lady. In provincial court, the judge is addressed as your honor, and the master is addressed as your honor. You can have electronic devices like phones, computers, and tablets in Manitoba court buildings and courtrooms. However, you cannot use them in the courtrooms. Only members of the media and lawyers can use their phones and devices to send and receive data and messages in a courtroom. Only eligible members of the media may make audio recordings in a courtroom to substitute for written notes. Make sure that your cell phone or other device is turned off when you are in the courtroom. You cannot take photos and video recordings in a courtroom without written permission of the court. If you use an electronic device in contravention of the terms of the Manitoba Court's electronic devices policy or contrary to the terms of any direction or order made by the judge, you may be asked to turn off the electric device, the electronic device may be forfeited, you may be asked to erase or delete the data or audio that you wrongfully recorded, you may be asked to leave the courtroom, you may be cited for contempt of court, or the judge can make any other direction or order that he or she feels is appropriate. Most court proceedings are open to the public. Exceptions are child protection proceedings, case conferences, pre-trial conferences, judicially assisted dispute resolutions, and applications by the police to obtain search warrants or wiretaps. People have the right to watch court proceedings. They may watch yours. This could include high school, or university students who must attend court as part of an assignment or any other member of the public. If you are testifying in court as a party or a witness, here are some tips. Collect your thoughts before answering any questions. Remember any advice given to you by your lawyer or the lawyer representing the party you are a witness for. Listen carefully to the question and simply answer only the question that is asked. Do not answer questions that you are not asked. 
do not answer a question if your lawyer says objection until the judge decides whether the question is allowed. Do not give rambling or excessively long explanations. Remember, you can always ask that the question be repeated or rephrased if you forget what it was or don't understand. Remember, you can also say you don't know or don't remember the answer to a question if that is the case.